Hey guys, what's happening? Tony here, CCXR scene on the bench. We've got a first, the first tank to hit the channel, and I'm really excited about it. This is the Heng Long German Tiger 1, and in real life, this hit uh, the market about 1942. The German, uh, I think this hit North Africa, and so. Uh, anyway, this uh, kit has been put together. It comes with a few parts, but I want to give you guys just kind of a quick look at it because it's absolutely gorgeous before we actually unbox this thing. It's 2.4 gigahertz. It's got real uh, shooting BB pellet action. It's got a, a little machine gun here that lights up. It's got sound effects for that. It's got smoke in the back. Uh, the guns move up, down, all kinds of sound effects. Really, really cool and especially for the price point. This thing uh, will not set you back too much. I think it's about $120 US, and uh, I got this sent to me by Gearbest to do a review of, and I'm really excited about it because, again, this is the first tank. I haven't put any of the decals on yet because I really want to do a little bit of a uh, dry brush paint job on this, make it look a little bit more worn because, honestly, when I'm not out driving this thing, it's pretty beautiful as a model itself, and it'll look really, really good up on the shelves here so I want to give it a little bit of that weathering it looked like it's been in a few battles and uh, but yeah let's get it unboxed and show you how this thing goes together and uh, some of the actions for it all right so first let's take a look at the box here so 116 scale 2.4 gigahertz radio uh, RC manual battle tank by Hang Long here they've been in business since 1986 I've seen these on eBay. They're pretty sweet looking. Seen some other videos. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of features here that they show on the side as far as its drivability, maneuverability. It can do up to a 30 degree angle with the firing directions in all different ways. Here we go. Really nice packaging actually. So it's got suspension here in these uh, treads. The smoke that comes out, flashing lights, airsoft shooting, gun barrels, up and downs, and the realistic sounds. I really do like this box though the color like the matte black with the gray it's really really sharp on the side they show you some of the upgrades that you can get for metal gears and all of that uh, metal treads pretty pretty slick and uh, on the back side of the box they give you some history here it says yeah so it was 1942 uh, German heavy tank with thick armor and powerful main gun first appeared on the North African front um, so this was a long desired tank by the army. Here it talks about all the different points about what this does and has a pretty cool diagram of everything. First off we get a uh, little 2 gigahertz radio control instruction manual here that talks about all of the features. How to shoot the BBs, move the turret right, up, down, all that. So backward, forward, gun up and down. This will I'll have to look over because there's quite a few buttons on the controller to learn. It also comes with this other manual that was in the box as well as this little antenna here. Uh, and a target to shoot at, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, but it goes ahead and it has lots of diagrams in here for uh, how to set this up, batteries, all of that. Uh, driving, uh, where to place everything, decals, looks like, uh, different parts. And so this will come in handy because we're going to have some assembly to do. On the top, we've got some spare parts. We've got our battery charger here. It's a EU one. A little box of BBs. These are uh, six millimeter BBs for the tank. Let's go ahead and take a look. Doesn't say how many are in here. I'm guessing that there's probably 50 per bag, so maybe 100 BBs in here. That's pretty cool. Parts here to make it look authentic. Another box of accessories here. Let's open this up and see what we get. You can see we've got our driver in here, uh, shovels, axes. I don't know what these are. Aha! Wow, it's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. For 116 scale, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let's go ahead and pull this up. It's got some heft to it. Let's see the suspension there working. Wow. Even more excited than I was a second ago. 
All right, guys, I'm going to completely admit that I'm more excited about this than I actually expected to be. This is pretty large. This is a lot bigger than I expected what 1 16th would look like. It's got some good heft to it. This is going to look good uh, driving on a shelf, uh, wherever you want to put it. Um, let's go ahead and let's start taking a look at some of these items that are in here. So I just tried to pop this plastic off of the, uh, the top here and the whole thing just popped off. So it looks like it's okay. This is just a guard. We've got tape holding this down here, this little compartment to the top. Let's take a flip it over here for a minute. Got on off. Got this little slider here for the battery. Let's see if it's installed here already. It should be. The, the on switch was flipped on, but we're not plugged in, so that's a good thing. So it comes with a 2S LiPo battery. It's a 1800 milliamp hour battery with the Tamiya style connector here. As you can see, they've got LEDs here on the front, little uh, lights here, as well as over here from the little gun area. One of the things you're going to have to do is assemble the uh, radio controller. So I see the sticks in here for it. So here's the controller. Go ahead and we'll just slide these sticks in. Like so. Yeah, like I said, there's a bunch of little buttons here. Volume, smoke, switch sound effects, machine gun sound. The bullet shooting button is up on the top here. So it's all nicely labeled. No buttons on the back, and it's going to take six AA batteries. On off switch right here. All right, let's take a quick look at this here. Guessing that one of the guys goes up here. Alright, so we're going to take our little uh, figurine here, it comes with some double sided tape, and we're going to stick them right up here in the top compartment. And we're going to make sure we leave enough room to get more BBs in that little opening there in the front. We just want to set him back far enough that he is uh, not going to impede our ability to access that area in the future. That works. Alright guys, so we got it all put together. I don't know if this is where the antenna goes, I don't actually see it in the manual if it's even needed. Uh, so yeah, whatever. I put it on there because it looked like it should go there. We've got all the accessories loaded on. We've got some BBs in here and the next thing we have to do is just to turn it on and see how it works. All right, so what I'm finding here with the controls is that you tap this multiple times to go through the volume, cycle it, all the way to the loudest then off. The noise that I was hearing at the beginning was the smoke machine was on even though I don't have smoke to put in it and so it was making some noise. I'm probably burning it up doing that and so we're gonna turn that off. I didn't know what was going on there. Uh, for firing the gun just hitting the button doesn't do it but if you hold the button and you push up on the control stick. Let me, let me line up this shot here. We'll shoot this over. But if you hold this and then push up it'll shoot the BB. So now I've got plastic BBs flying all over in here. It's really loud and it comes out with a lot more power than I thought it was actually going to. So that is amazing. I love it. Uh, the turret is uh, controlled here. You can spin it left and right. Up. And you can stop and go down. You don't have to click through. So you can stop wherever you are. Choose to go up or down. Really nice. Move it around. We'll see how far it'll go around. All right, about 180. Go all the way to the other side, and we'll see if it'll make it click in the same spot. 
Yep. So it won't actually hit where that antenna is. And so you won't feel the fire all the way around behind you. But honestly, you'd probably just turn the tank around like so if you wanted to fire behind you. It's pretty quick. I'm actually shocked at the speed. Uh, I gotta figure out the control a little bit. It can go crawl a little bit, but you've really gotta be light on the control and you can make it kind of crawl. It wants to just fly. So I wonder if there's a way to tone that down. Uh, this switch on mine just kind of freely moves and I need to look up what that is for. On the top here you got machine gun sound, so we'll turn this so you can see the light light up action here. Right there's the gun, machine gun. But the uh, I have the sounds off, so I'll turn them on. And you can hear it. And so I thought it would be two controls up, down to make it do each individual uh, track, but that's not how this works. So your controls are literally all with your uh, right stick. Well, that's the Henglong German Tiger 1. It's a really, really cool looking tank RC. I'm going to have fun with this. The kids are going to love the BB shooting action. I wish I could show them, but they're already in bed. Uh, and so hopefully all the sound effects and noises uh, didn't wake up my wife while she's sleeping in the room next door. But I'm uh, really, really excited about this. We'll uh, have some videos of it running for you guys coming soon. I'm going to have to find out if there's anybody else locally that runs tanks and we can have like a shootout or something fun. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. As always, Tony here, CCXRC. Have fun RCing, and we'll catch you next time.